Hi everybody, um, Scrap Chicky here, going to share with you episode number four of the um, Spotlight Stamp series. Um, this is a the stamp I'm going to be using this for this um, episode, and it is a an older stamp. Sorry, it's called Miracle. There's the item number. Um, I purchased this stamp a while back, and I loved it, absolutely fell in love with it, and I've never, ever used it. I've had it for uh, over over a year, <laughs> May, possibly many years, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is um, the image that I want to use. It's an adorable little vintage kind of baby um, shot on there, and I'm going to try and uh, put this together. So I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I already have a... Uh, card base and it is um, in the white daisy uh, textured cardstock from close to my heart and I believe this one is five and five and a half check my measurements yes five and a half by uh, ten and then scored at five in the middle to create a top fold um, card well I guess it could be doesn't have to be top fold. Then I'm using some um, pattern paper from, oh, I don't remember what this one's called. Caboodle, Caboodle, what is it? Caboodle, there it is. <laughs> it's from the Caboodle paper pack from Close to My Heart. Um, I have very little of it left, only a couple of full sheets and then lots and lots of scraps. So I'm gonna try and use um, some of that. Um, so hopefully you guys like it. There we go.
guys, so this one was a little bit difficult <laughs> for me. Um, I don't know why, but probably because I didn't have anything planned when I picked out the stamp set. So um, this uh, this piece of paper here is a piece from a scratch from this my scratch bin stash or whatever. It's from Ivy Cottage. It's an old, old, old paper, <laughs> and um, I'm not even yes. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even that company exists anymore. But anyway, um, that's the I just pulled out of my scratch bin because I wanted something um, kind of neutral colored, and I'm trying to trying to go for vintage on this one just a little bit. It's not what I normally do. Um, I would still, after all these many many years of um, scrapbooking, I don't think and card making, I don't think I have. I don't think I found my style. Anyway, <laughs> um, I try to do things in a certain style, and I guess. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. So, vintage is not one of my strong points. Anyway, this stamp did help a little bit because it is just kind of a vintage stamp. So, I did a lot of distressing with the um, vintage photo. This is the sorbet orange, which is the same color as that um, background paper. And I just added some um, little opaques to the pearls from Close to My Heart. And then I cut out another. Uh, butterfly and added it to this um, on top of the butterfly that was on that image and I wanted to um, put some liquid glass on it and we'll see if this will be nice to me today Maybe it won't. we'll have to pull out the old Blah. and I store it in these these are the tubes that the brads and the buttons come in sometimes uh, I think the buttons come in bags now, but they used to come in this something like this, and I saved them so that I can store my liquid glass upside down. And my this particular liquid glass is not very pretty to look at because it has a thumbtack <laughs> for the lid, but um, it works for me. So <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to add a little bit of. The liquid glass to this butterfly just to kind of give it something pretty and then since I don't mind getting my finger dirty at this point just kind of spread it around a little bit to make sure that it's perfectly even and now I feel like it is complete <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode um, episode four. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I'm having I'm having a really good time getting all these um, stamps out and, and messing around with them. So hopefully this inspires you to kind of look through your stash and maybe try and challenge yourself to do something with those stamps that you just had to have and then you <laughs> had to have them in your stash. So um, thanks guys for watching. Let me know what you think. Bye.